The other day I posted in my Insta story about how you get better at something by continuously doing it, by practicing it, by strategizing, by revisiting it, by doing it over and over again. So in this episode, I am going to demonstrate mastery by tying my bow tie with my eyes closed. Wake up, now make it a reality. Make it a reality, who you wanna be. Hey, what's up vlog? Appreciate you tuning in today. As promised, I'm going to tie my bow tie with my eyes closed. Purpose behind doing this is, you know, the other day on my Insta story, I posted about how we get better at things that we continuously do, things that we try, we figure out what went wrong, we revise it, we revisit it, and we just continue to work towards improvement. So at one point in time, like I had, I wanted nothing to do with bow ties, you know, unless it was clip on, I didn't want it. And, you know, I started doing bow ties on Wednesdays when I was working at Davis Drive Middle. Um, the admin, the staff, they put together this plan to do like bow Wednesdays in an effort to support student athletes. The so girls soccer team would play on Wednesdays. Um, they would put bows in their hair or they would wear bows. They would even wear bow ties too. The young men would play that played football would dress up. They were wearing bow ties. So people on staff began to do it and it just kind of broke out. And so bow ties became a thing. I added a few to my closet and now here we are. So I had to figure out an easy way to do it. My friend, Dr. Darnell Hicks showed me the easiest way. I mean, I know you look up videos all the time about how to tie bow ties. You do this uneven thing, but scratch all that. This is the easiest way to tie a bow tie. So here we go. Eyes closed and okay, well, that means nothing because I could still be trying to peek, but I'm not, eyes closed. You tie it just like a shoelace. So you do a regular knot like you would a shoelace over and under. You grab both loops like bunny ears, just like you would teach a child to tie their shoelace. Um, you put those knots together, the loops, you put the loops together and you bring both ears through like a bow you tug and make adjustments. Yes, my eyes are still closed. I feel like it's coming together. Um, may not be perfect, but voila. <laughs> and it only took me two takes to do that. So anyway, message for today is you continuously um, practice and try and ask for advice and seek counsel from people who know how to do it. Just like I said, I got with my friend Darnell. He showed me the easiest way to do it. I tried other ways on my own. I looked up YouTube videos, but you know, you never really know what you can do until you try. You know, I could have continued to just buy clip-ons, right? But it was something I wanted to make that investment in. I committed the time to learning how to do it. I sought counsel from um, an expert. And here I am, tying bow ties, blindfolded. This applies to many different areas of our lives. You know, it's nothing to reach out to people um, that you trust, that are experts, that you want to get better in something. You just have to have you just have to have the courage to reach out, to try, and experience new things. I hope this message resonates and connects. As always, each day is a new opportunity to become better. I will see you all tomorrow. Peace. I remember when it all started, me and my brother trapping off the white and blue impalas. You got the talent, but I got the dream. What you mean? He said you know.